What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle where everyone is snooze losing at the moment. They are both snoozing and losing. That's a word that I made up to denote when you snooze you lose. It's just snooze losing now because I feel like it's very rhythmic. It's very primal and I enjoy using it. But anyways, in the previous episode we had put in a bunch of carpet, we had stockpiled some metal, and then the game had crashed forcing us to step back and redo a whole bunch of stuff. And so I think it's just about all done right now? I don't know. I didn't really do any fact checking on it, but we're going to build our dining room. Which they will make use of. It does make them happy to be able to sit into it, or sit in a chair. Sit into a chair seems kind of syntactically strange. But anyways, sit in a chair and go around. Two appears to be going slightly insane. And so, yeah, maybe she should refrain from going and doing anything like going into giant scary caves. But she's not going to listen. She's going to go down into the cave of misery. It's a cave that I dug just to make sure that people were extra miserable. And the final hauling is done. So we can finally take stock of how much metal we have. And it's going to look like we have about a thousand. And so we're doing really well for where we're at in the game right now. We have a lot of good things happening for us. And I think the only other thing that could possibly go wrong is a giant raider assault. Now, I do need to take this room and make it a little bit better designed. I do feel as though the turrets are really just kind of all over the place. I should wipe this out, scoot this back a tiny bit, or maybe even scoot it back into here. And then we can line the turret walls like so. But... The nature of this steam vent right here also means that the northern edge is going to be a little bit weird with regards to our turrets. They're also a little bit close together. We have support pillars that may cause cave-ins. So a lot of general problems that I think I need to take care of before somebody just like grenades one of these. Where it stands right now, grenades are really overpowered in this iteration of the game. They're basically one-shot kills to anything, and I think that needs to be toned down a tiny bit. But beyond that, I feel like the game is pretty well designed as to where it stands at the moment. We've got a combat supplier, which is exactly what we need. So let's take a random person, like two, and we'll go sell off a bunch of guns and see if we can't get ourselves some gear for it. I'm going to start from the bottom, as I am known to do. And we'll just pick our way through for all the... Oh, they're out of money already. That's disappointing. Well, that's okay. We'll just take all their metal then. And that'll be that. I don't think I got anywhere near selling off all of the guns that we have in our stockpile right now. We sold off a few of them. Montoya's going to jump straight in and start organizing our money. Never trust the guy that volunteers to organize your money. That guy is probably not as trustworthy as he would have you believe. He's like, oh, I'll organize the money. He's all excited about it. Who's going to organize the silver? I'll do it. Let me have the job. I'm like, yeah, That's the guy you probably don't want to give the job to. And as you can see... They are now dining in this room. It does give them a little bit of a happiness boost to be able to sit down in a chair and eat their dinner at a table. You also have the added benefit that they might talk to each other. They're kind of antisocial, so you can't guarantee it, but every now and again, they will deem it necessary to have a conversation with one another, and everything will be okay, and everything will be all right. I'm a little bit skeptical about our next Raider Assault. Things are getting pretty hairy in the world about the rim, and so there it is. We've actually got ourselves another Raider. As I said it, we've got a male sniper, we've got Kaori, we've got a grenadier with flame grenades or molotovs, archer, okay, so the charge rifle is going to be problematic, but we did luck out and we didn't get anybody with frag grenades, and honestly, that's the only thing you need to be scared of in this game if you're running the strategy that I'm running right now. Anybody with frag grenades, bad, bad news. Anybody without frag grenades, eh, probably going to be a pushover, and so that tends to indicate to me that frag grenades tend to be that thing that needs to be kind of adjusted a little bit. God forbid you get like five guys with frag grenades, which I have had happen before. In that case, it might be a better plan. Oh, we got another one. The Fugak Lin. Okay, well, the Fugak Lin is about to make me some moolah. Let's talk to Fugak Lin here. Wait, hold on. There they are. Fugak Lin. And I think I will sell the remainder of all of my goodies to Fugak Lin. Keep the Molotov cocktails, as I've said before. And I'm going to spend a little bit of money to buy some charge rifles. So there it is. We bought ourselves a charge rifle. I'm also going to buy out the remainder of their metal, even though it's kind of expensive. And so now we have enough silver to really do some bartering. The next time somebody comes along and is like, Hey, uh, you got anything that you want to trade for? We're going to be like, Absolutely. Give me all of your apple fritters, sir. That's what I've been thinking about lately, just apple fritters. I love apple fritters, by the way, so if you want to just, like, snail mail me some apple fritters, if they smell like almonds, I'm not going to trust you because people try and poison people all the time because I'm scared and I'm all kinds of paranoid. No, I don't care. Mail me apple fritters, seriously. I will die for an apple fritter. I, I feel no fear in my heart when it comes to the apple fritters. 
I'm mysterious. I thought that was going to be a power, like a solar flare right now. It's about to be like, no! There goes our playthrough. There goes our playthrough. I hope you guys have found it enjoyable and enlightening because it is now over. Nothing good will ever happen to you. Go get a charge rifle. I'm super serial right now. Oh my god, and we got into a shootout outside. Everybody run inside. Don't allow this to happen. Flee! Flee! I wonder if Albina... That's a really, really strange... Because he's neither albino nor... Maybe it is female. I don't know. I don't know. Never mind. I'm not going to go into that diatribe because it's just going to make me sound weird and ignorant. You always have to back off that. You're just like, eh, I think that's going to make me sound weird and ignorant. <laughs> that's like a, a real fear that I have, right? Why is your blouse so ripped and torn? I feel like... There may be some kind of, like, crazy happenings occurring here in New Guapington that I need, like, a police force to investigate or something. I want to be a good mayor. I don't want to be a bad mayor. Please do not arrest my own peasants. You know what? You go hang out in, like, the muck. Oh, <gasps> oh no! Oh, this is bad. This is very, very bad. Semyon is now running around on fire because... Stop shooting Will. Stop firing at Will. That... <laughs> Do not fire at Will would be the thing that I would tell you that we're blowing up our own turrets now. Will, I'm going to need you to get the hell away from there because it's about to blow up. And it's going to be really, really terrible once it happens. Alright, is everybody dead yet? You guys aren't retreating at the rate that I would like you to. And also you keep throwing Molotovs on... Oh my god. Those... I thought those were spaced properly. If I had, like, one thing in the game that drives me crazy right now, it would be, like, the explosive radius of the turrets. Like, what are we making those things out of? Like, napalm? Like, seriously? <laughs> oh, my God. Like, this ultimate sniper with Molotov cocktails, Keiyukun or Keiyuneke, is killing me. So, let's untag all these guys, and we'll get them going on putting out fires and repairing everything. All in all, not a terrible assault. It could have been a lot worse. Is this one of my guys? Oh, it is. Montoya is dead. That is incredibly unfortunate. I can't afford to be losing people right now. Oh, she was standing next to the turret too closely. Okay, so. One of those micromanagement fails on my part. Let me go ahead and power everything down here. And unfortunately... Kind of trying to think about the way that I want to orchestrate this whole thing now. Let's... So that's not going to work. Let's go like so... What? Did those get mined now? Is it because they're damaged? We'll wait until they're not damaged anymore. And what we'll do is we will scoot these back. There we go. And so you'll see what I'm going to scoot this entire entryway backwards. And once I've scooted it backwards, we should be in a little bit better of shape, I think. We still haven't been able to recruit the unfortunate circumstances that we haven't gotten Fox recruited. He's going to be replacing Montoya now, which makes it even more important to have him in our crew. Let's also put the metal wall back in here to act as the conductor that we need. And don't get yourself, don't, I don't need any, okay, good. I hate it when they trap themselves in the walls. It makes me sad. It makes me very, very sad. And so I may have to actually prioritize the hauling of, like, all of this crap over here. I made, I made this stockpile, but nobody seems to be very interested in hauling the debris. And so, unfortunately, once we get all this stuff out, and if we get a double attack right now, it is going to be very, very bad for us. It's going to be super bad. There we go. And so now what I think I can do... It's still not accomplishing exactly what I would like. But I think that getting it flush would be okay. We'll just put in a metal wall right there. It won't look good, but it'll work. We'll sell off this lamp right here. And why is nothing powered down here?
No, I, I need to reorganize like heftily. I'm still not quite making the connection as to why this is not functioning. It appears to be connected. Let me look one more time. So yeah, this all appears to be connected to circuits. Maybe that's the problem right there. And of course, we'll have to move this around a little bit just to make sure. But let me get all my walls in place before I do anything else. So I'm really going to try and space these out now. Especially now that we have a bit more room to play with. We have an industrial trader here. And so I'm going to have two talk to them so that we can get some more metal. And we're just going to totally yoke that on over to the left. And the second that we get the 720 iron out of these guys, I think we're going to be your metal. Generic metal. We should be a lot happier. And so there it is. Have any of our combat things been hauled? No, they have not. And so while we have a combat supplier here, that might be a good plan. But maybe I've just given them way too much work to do right now. So we'll wait it out for a second. Oh, it was that conduit right there. Okay. Whatever, that works out for me. And so now what I'd like to do is we will... Mine this. And after doing so, we will extend our... Oh, good, we got Fox now. Awesome. So where is Fox at? And also give him a gun. That's like the first thing. When you get to New Guapington, we give you a gun. It's kind of like your badge of entry. It's like, listen, you're going to get shot at a lot here. That's pretty much the main motif that if I had to point something out, it's like get used to the fact that you're going to be hearing zit, zit, zit all the time because someone is going to be shooting you. I think I'm going to assign somebody to 100% haul all of the time. It looks like I already have that person. So let's find somebody else who's maybe predisposed to hauling a little bit better. And we'll just add another hauler to the list so that they go out and get rid of all of this random stuff that just needs to be handled right now. Because this debris is really starting to pile up and I need it to kind of be taken care of. These are all powered down, yes. Okay, good. And I may scoot this wall back slightly as well. So as to make everything into like a big square kill room. There we are. And then I'm going to go to the structural menu. We'll throw down some sandbags over here in front of all this. And we need to get rid of him. And I may run a secondary power conduit. From here and around through this stockpile and up through here so that you have a backup circuit maybe might be a good plan because chances are this little conduit right here is that still oh my and I believe I have found the problem okay well the universe is just full of little surprises for me today we are out of food which is bad of things that are bad, that would be one that I would proclaim as terrible. So we may have to go out muffalo hunting again. So we'll grab squirrel. We will grab Freety. And you two shall go and murder a muffalo. That one looks fine. That one looks... Yeah, he looks ripe for the murdering. Let's go ahead and shoot him. And so there it is. That muffalo has been downed. And I think each muffalo gives you like 300 meat. So that should keep us until the next harvest comes in. Especially considering like half of our strawberry plants seem like they're kind of coming around anyways. God, that is so bad that that conduit wasn't there. That explains all of the random power outages we've been having. And I think I should probably get rid of that one too. I'll put in sandbags to there for now. Although I wouldn't say that that's going to be a condition with any permanence. This could be something that I fix pretty shortly. And a local squirrel has gone mad. That's better than raiders. I'll take it. I don't suppose the combat suppliers are still here. No, Sinleth is still here, though. And 
They don't want anything else. I think what I may do is if I get a slave trader, I may buy actually a bunch of people to kind of flesh out our numbers. And Nessa has gotten herself into a fist fight with a squirrel. Oh, and a power conduit explosion. Even better. And raiders have landed nearby. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. What else could go wrong today? Really? Because I don't see any raiders anywhere. Oh, there they are. Okay. So we do have frags, molotovs, basically all of the things in life that are going to make us very, very miserable. So it was Andrew that has the frag grenades. So we'll have to pay attention to him. That conduit explosion is going to be a major problem for us because as we saw earlier, if this is not connected, yuck. Okay, so let's kill the lights and we'll start trying to store up a little bit of power before they come and try and kill us. And we have been getting a lot of raiders lately, so I'm a little bit concerned about our safety. But the sandbags are up. Everything appears to be up and running, so we should be okay. Got a bunch of turrets here that are just doing their own thing, not listening. We've got enough power conduits up to where when that happens, you can see here, we're refilling our batteries incredibly quickly. It's just, you know, takes a little bit of time. Fox, since I have messed up here and not giving you a gun. Go get yourself just the M24, I guess. Okay, he's got himself an M24. Let's have everybody collapse back, and if he could make it, I would send him to go grab a charge rifle, and he can. Good. And so now that he's stunned, we'll go back inside. Although that did work out okay, having that little shootout right there. I don't think it was necessarily the best plan for the long term. This time, I'm actually going to make sure that my turrets are turned on. Turrets. Turrets. I realize that we haven't always been on friendly terms, turrets, but what's going on here? I feel as though something terrible may have just happened. Oh, ass. Like, I see... It should be connected through there, and then back around. Why is that not working? There we go. Okay, so now. Alright, it, it was just a delay. It was just a delay. It'll all be okay. We have to believe. We have to believe. Otherwise, it's just never going to work. Okay, so Andrew is the man of the hour. So, fire at Andrew. Fire at... No, fire at Andrew. No, not melee attack. Fire at Andrew. And so the unfortunate circumstance that we have found ourselves in is going to be largely related to... Yeah, don't let him get any closer, please. There we go. Okay, so now life should not be so terrible for us. Although I do need to get all of you into firing positions. Otherwise, you're going to be shooting each other in the ass the entire time. They also shoot their own turrets. I don't know if you were... If you were privy at all to that... Apparently, our entire universe has now collapsed, which is great. I was going to say, you didn't just kill your own guy, did you? And so, who is this right here? Is Fox down? Okay, so everybody is now dead. 
We, in the meantime, need to release everybody from their servile positions. And really, I kind of wish that, I don't know, the raider attacks are very, very frequent. If I had to say one thing that it's just like, it's just a little bit too much, almost, I guess. I would like a little bit of peace. I'm a peaceful person. I would love a little bit of peace. And I know there will be people there who will be like, peace is boring, more war. But that's not me. So what we need to do now is obviously we need to ensure that there's supports here. Honestly, I thought that three spacing... I don't know if they're throwing the grenades in between, or I'm not sure how the explosions are occurring here. But in watching them occur... I'm trying to limit these chain reactions, and unfortunately they always seem to go for the turrets up here. And so it may actually be a better idea to pull all the turrets back to force them to come into the room and get shot at. Because this covering behind the wall thing is definitely working to their favor. So I think what I'll do is let's put in... Yeah, we have to use metal walls because we need the conduit, unfortunately. So there it is right there. I may try the grenade strategy where I just put somebody right here and throw grenades at the corner the entire time the next time around. Might work out okay. We also need more wounded people would be the other part that I feel like we need to kind of handle. Let's get all of our lights back on as well. Lights. There we go. Different types of lights need a different key click. So let's hustle at the moment, although I think our journey might be coming to an end. I do seem to feel as though, actually no, let's leave those as supports and we'll cancel that and we'll just get rid of these right here and then we should be all right. So our cleaners are coming in to clean up the blood. We've got everybody else. I think as far as things are going, as much as I would enjoy a little bit of peace, we should be okay. Let's power down all the turrets that we have right now. With 1,400 metal still remaining. The endless cycle. Let's pull... Why didn't that get mined out either? Well... I'm kind of thinking about what I want to do with this room right now. So you forgive me as I fall quiet because I am trying to contemplate... And unfortunately, my mouth and my mind don't always seem to work together. They seem to argue with each other quite a bit. And so turning one off seems to kickstart the other one back to where I need it. So food should be okay as soon as that is up and going. I think we've got like one day left. I think we've got enough meals. We should be all right. Turn that back on so that I know if people are coming around. And while we've got a minute, I suppose I could send people out to go grab all the freebies out there. There we go. So the strawberry harvest has come in. He's headed down there. Yeah. That's funny. It's a long job, but you might as well get it done. I mean, we don't have a whole lot of other things going on here in New Guapington. So you may as well accomplish it now. Did they increase the price of turrets? I don't know. So I think one of my main problems may be the stacking of turrets. Over, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out a way to force them kind of. I suppose I could draw down another wall right there that would force them downwards and into the fire zone a little bit better. But even so, I think they would make line of sight with this turret here. So I'd have to remove both of these. And I think that would just shift my problem from them firing on this wall to them firing on this wall. Although, since my entire power supply is over here, that might be a better option. Something to think about. So I may put in another wall right here. Just kind of force them downwards and away from all of this over here. Which seems to be a little bit more important as far as our structural integrity goes. With all the conduits. So now that those have been replaced, I think I'm going to break the episode off here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me at the Nerd Castle here in New Guapington for a playthrough that I think might be coming to a close. It seems to be getting a little bit of ahead of us. We should be okay for, I think, a few more episodes, but we'll see what happens. Take care out there, everybody, and I'll see you there.